Volkswagen Type 181 thing. Wow, it's a yeah. Volkswagen Beetle 1302 Volkswagen Golf Mark II. And here that's the Daimler. It's for sale, guys. But I'm saying Daimler. It's pronounced like this in German. Uh, so it's a V8 250. It's a Mark II. Check your Mark II if you want to say so. It's a Jack. Actually, it's a Daimler. Not Daimler, like I'm always saying. So the Golf and here wheel. It's one of the Beatles. <laughs> and here the thing. Oh, Chevy Corvette C1. But this must be an older one because you can see it has the single headlamps, not the double. From when is this machine? No, it doesn't stand there. Wow, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. What a wonderful car. Beautiful. And here now Opel Kadett C Coupe or Holden uh, Gemini. Isuzu, Gemini, and whatever it was called in other parts of the world. Opel, Escona A, Caravan, so it's the estate. Wow, Opel, Escona 400, amazing. Oh, Opel Senator B, not the prettiest car, but I find it anyway very cool. And there. Jaguar E-Type 4.2 in a color I did not expect on a Jaguar. This one is from 1966. This, these cars even have been built into the 70s. I'm thinking 72 or 73 maybe. Here yeah, is an Ada. From the sidelines, some people from Australia will also, of course, recognize it as the Holden Commodore. But well, the Commodore had different uh, headlamps and different taillights. Here's the Escona 400. Oh, absolutely amazing. Opel Escona 16 the Caravan. This car was actually uh, behind me. I'm wondering they let him to go here and I had to park there yeah, at the road. But anyway, I'm also happy about the parking place. Opel Record C. So the third generation of the Opel Record. And in Brazil, like I told you, this car was sold as a Chevy or Chevrolet, Chevrolet, Chevrolet Opala. But uh, the Chevy had different headlamps and different taillights, but well, the body is actually the same and here well actually it's quite a modern car but yeah young climbers are also allowed here and yeah when have you seen the last ford cougar i'm thinking in the united states of america it was sold as mercury cougar it's based on the first generation of the mondeo if i'm not mistaken oh beautiful Citroën CX. Super Citroën. Super, super. And this thing is called the Katzentreppe in German, so catch uh, stairway or catch steps. <laughs> ah, and here's the Ford Scorpio. And in UK it was sold as Canada. The estate or wagon of the Scorpio. Well, it was also still looking the same at the rear end, like um, yeah, the next generation, which was looking very odd with round lamps. So that's most likely the Buick Regal you've seen before. 
Yep. Here we go. Oh, it's looking very nice, guys. Volvo Amazon. And here, that's a T-Bird. For Thunderbird. And here, the front end of the T-Bird. 57 now. This car most likely not. And here the Amazon. It'll be real. In case you also want to take a look at the village or town uh, here, you can see the church of Hattersheim. Audi 100 um, C C3. Hopala. There's the uh, Pontiac GTO. The Judge. And there's the Audi 100. Yeah, 124 Spider Volvo Amazon. And here, oh, that's amazing. BMW E9, if I'm not mistaken, this is 3.0 CSL. What a nice yellow. Ah, take a look at this, guys. Girls, of course, <laughs> as usual. I should just turn to friends, that's easier. <laughs> but well, most likely, uh, guys are watching this because I'm knowing that 96% uh, of my viewers are actually yeah, male. Here, Triumph. Oh, but don't ask me about the type. Ah, it stands there. TR3. Very nice. Here is a TR6. And this here is really a rare car. It's a Lomax. <laughs> it was built uh, as kit car on the uh, Citra 2CV. You can also tell it by the wheels because these were very typical for the uh, 2CV. It's a Lomax 223 from 1992. I just want to see the uh, three wheeler. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Bing bing. I wish you could smell it because it's many like bratwurst and everything like that hmm <laughs> anyway here um, Volkswagen Scirocco GTX it's a Mark II beautiful um, BMW 2002 so the first series of it because it has the round headlamps uh, taillights I mean and the typical orange color that I'm remembering It was really a beautiful car, but um, usually these uh, preface lifts had chrome, a chrome grill. But maybe this uh, plastic grill was all on this. But the plastic grill is also looking better on these. So, and here, guys, that's also here. Yeah, it's a, it's an Opel Corsa Sprint, Opel Corsa A. The Sprint is really super rare. I'm sure. As you can see here, I'm sure. So that was a tuner 
for Opel and he was uh, influenced also changing cars and got really tuning them up. So in uh, UK it was the Vauxhall uh, Nova. Oh, that's big. That's what she said. Chevy Bel Air. Maybe also a 50 fiber. Opel GT. Dear big Ford F something. <laughs> So it's an F series F150 XLT. No. Here the Opel GT. And here the Chevy Bel Air. It's funny, from far behind I was actually thinking it's the Carmen Ghia, but the closer I got, I was thinking, nah, that's looking a little bit odd. So this guy is a, an Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Oh, I love it, these old wheels. Beautiful. 1300. I was always thinking these are these 1302. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. so here's the 